Today we're about to cross one of the most infamous borders here in Southeast Asia, Cambodia to Laos. And to be honest, this border has nothing but bad reviews. Take a look at Google map reviews. They are absolutely terrible. Even our friends have been scammed on this border and we've been told to not cross it. But it is the only border that exists between Laos and Cambodia. So we don't have much choice and we have a bike, so we're gonna have to cross it. This does mean that today is our last day in Cambodia and we are going to be leaving. We have actually done a whole motorbike road trip around this country and and if you haven't already watched it, we'll put the playlist in the description below. In our last video, we actually left you on the islands and we said that we only had a few days left before our visa ran out. So since then, we've actually driven really, really far, literally across all of the country. We left Kota Kiev, we drove to Otras Beach, we then drove to Kampot and stayed there for a couple nights in a really nice place. We had aircon and Wi-Fi, so we just did quite a lot of editing. After that, we drove to Phnom Penh, which is Cambodia's capital. And the reason that we went there was just to go to the Tall Slang Museum and the Killing Fields because they were on our list and they're pretty important places here in Cambodia. We would definitely recommend that you do it if you are budget travelers as well. Pay for the full thing, including the audio guide. It's 100% worth it. It's a good idea to have knowledge and information about the country that you're in. It's very valuable. And yeah, since then we've just been driving, sleeping, driving, sleeping. Now we're here in this random village in the middle of nowhere, about to cross the border. I'm pretty nervous. How are you feeling? I have no, no choice really, so it's like it's keeping it positive <laughs> or, or going home. And yeah, we've covered like how many kilometers in these past few days? I don't know, hundreds of kilometers. Hundreds, so we're both actually really exhausted. It's why we haven't been vlogging that much. Thank you. This is our last meal in Cambodia. Don't say last, it kind of sounds scary. We have to give away some of our treasures that we've been collecting throughout our time in Cambodia, basically guys. In here you can win a lot of beer. Not only that it's already so cheap, but you can also get free beer. So every time you open a beer and you find this, that means you want a beer. And look how many we have here. I have like about 50 of them here. I kind of never exchange them. So I'm just going to go and give to the local lady because I've seen she's been drinking beer just now. So I'm pretty sure she, it's going to make her happy. This is like a budget traveler's uh, dream. You can exchange these for 500 real instead of two and a half thousand per beer. So you, it's like 12 cents a beer if you have these, which is really yeah. cheap. Yeah. Okay, for you. For you. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna hop on our bikes right now and see how this damn border goes. Absolutely no idea how it's gonna go. Although I'm starting to feel a little bit like kind of nervous because I'm, I'm actually feeling that it's, <laughs> it's about not to happen soon. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know how it's gonna go. But anyways, let's go and see. Gonna try and film as much as we can of it because. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film, but I'm going to try my best. So we're just outside the cambodia Lao border. We're about to cross it. I'm not even sure which way to go. It's kind of nervous, but uh, I don't know. We have high hopes. This is what it looks like. It looks like it's, there's no one here. I know. Standard. It feels like it's like post-nuclear war or something. I see. So they would definitely see you parking up with the bike here. They saw us anyway. It's like you can't hide the bike. We're the only people coming here right now. There's no one here. This is arrival, we need to go to departure. Excuse me, sir. You know where is departure? This way. On the other building? Uh, just here. You have a tour on yeah. You have a tour bike. Why? Why? Here in the custom, you need to check your tour bike document. Subject for all the required documents and you really? say you should have no problem. Even if you come from Vietnam to Cambodia, oh, so we have no problem. No problem, but no problem, here yeah. problem for you. There is no legal document in Cambodia that requires to enter no. the tour That's what we've been told. And they did not do. Actually, the tour bike crossing the border have to be uh, used to can be document for stamp. I just need a stamp to leave the legal stamp to leave Cambodia and go to us. I don't need to get anything else here. Because I already looked up like, to the immigration. They said this border might be a little bit difficult, but that's they say it's always like this. Please show me your document with your lobby line. Mm -hmm. But I want to know where is your buy this border. So my friend bought it in Hanoi and it's brought it to Phnom Penh and I got it from my friend. But when you buy, you want to buy from your friend, that is the another, another nation of my country. 
So it means that Vietnam nation so then how cannot sell in Cambodia. So how did our friend bring here? I don't know your friend. Well, he come from the border of Vietnam, Cambodia, and said, no problem, welcome to Cambodia. It, it also was like a gift, I could say, like this. It's not, I didn't buy it, it was for free. I don't think that's the main part of the legal requirements to go across the border with the motorbike that is completely legal between three countries, Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. If you want to, to drive the other nation of motorbike into Cambodia, must to have the document. But he doesn't have the document. Yeah. He didn't have anything. We asked him. They didn't, he didn't, he didn't give anything from the Vietnam border. Integration for people, motorbike for custom, for car, for goods, the custom, you know, mm -hmm. the laws in it. But when you go with the car, you also need, it's no problem, yes? The laws to come with in the car. I personally uh, know that there is no legal document that requires that because I've asked for it sir. Now I allow you to exist from Cambodia but for the next time no way. Okay thank you so much sir. Okay. Okay. It was a freaking mission guys so we got stamped out you did we did have to pay two dollars each which you don't actually have to pay you can argue if you want but we just couldn't be bothered to be honest it's two dollars they can enjoy some beers whatever i don't really care but you can argue if you don't want to pay it you don't have to pay it but it's your choice if you want to do that be honest you needed a couple uh compare to go through otherwise they will generally guilt trip you and make yeah. Scared. But let's just cross into Laos first. Woohoo! We're going to Laos, guys! I'm so excited! Hopefully, we have no issues here. We'll there we go. These are on arrival. So, we're just uh, crossing into Laos right now, and it's so chill. We literally just fill in the documents and then off we go. Absolutely no problems. <laughs> That's it! Sabay D, motherfuckers! Guess who's back in the hood? Sabay D, Sabay D, Sabay D! Let's find some sticky rice. To go down there? Tao Dai? Hoxip. Fairly little fairy, but it's like wooden if you actually look at it. It's proper like wooden, and yeah, we're about to go to good old Don Dat. It's gonna be pretty fun, can't wait. <laughs> three years ago with a broken bike as well like they was we were asking people in here to push the bike for us to help us to push it yeah it weirdly weirdly the bike is breaking again at the same place and it's the same problem I don't like that maybe it's cursed here the curse of the bike <laughs> Don that's yeah. under a bit of construction this way Back in Bonham's guest house right now. It's nice to be back three years later though. It took a little while and guess what? The bike's broken just like the last time. <laughs> and the lady even remembers us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so nice to be back, can't wait. Wow. 